Good evening, everybody. Few things in life impact us every single day like the U.S. Postal Service does. You get letters, packages, maybe even life-saving prescription medications delivered right to your home. But here in Western New York, there are worries that mail service could take a big hit if some functions are moved from the Buffalo facility on William Street down the thruway to Rochester. We've been talking about this, and it's why the American Postal Workers Union local here in Buffalo has organized an informational pick this Friday from 11 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon at the main post office there on William Street. Now that will be followed by the public meeting organized by the USPS this coming Tuesday evening in Cheektowaga. Both of these are open to the public with the message, as you can see on the flyer, save our service. Joining me live tonight is Frank Reseteris. He is the president of the American Postal Workers Union's local here in Buffalo. Frank, we appreciate you coming back on. And before I get to what's going to happen at this informational picket and then at the public meeting, I want to start with the why people should care. For someone who hasn't been following this closely, the USPS came out with its sort of report, its analysis on Buffalo, right? What did they conclude that makes you worry that some service may be moved from here to Rochester? Rochester. Well, the uh, the initial report, which was dated, uh, the initial findings report, which, which is dated January 30th, uh, showed what machines we will maintain here in the Buffalo plant at 1200 William Street and what processing machines we will no longer have. A key machine, the advanced facer canceller. We have three of them here in Buffalo. We use two of them nightly. And that advanced facer canceller is with it puts a cancellation on mail that comes in the post office boxes uh the collection boxes here in buffalo across the counter at the window when uh, the cust uh, clerks service the customers that mail that comes in from buffalo and it goes to this advanced face cancel receives a cancellation and then it is segregated to different parts of the country uh, zip code by zip code well the zip codes here locally that where that mail would come back into the community after it's mailed from the community, zip codes beginning with 140, 141, 142, 143, 147, those zip codes now, instead of uh, the mail being processed here in Buffalo on the advanced facer canceller and going through other machines, fine tuned down to be delivered right back here in Buffalo, that mail now will now go to Rochester because the advanced facer cancelers are not part of the initial findings report of January 30th. Hmm. So our, our three machines will be removed. Now, if you look at the trend, and there's a trend nationwide, and I'm just gonna look at this list real quick, there's nine sites that have been finalized across the country. So we're in the initial report, but now there's a final MPFR report. And for example, they all have lost their advanced facer cancelers. And they, the those machines are not on our inventory. So for instance, Medford, Oregon, they currently have two. They're losing both. A Trenton, New Jersey, they have four advanced phaser cancelers. They're losing all four. Minneapolis, Minnesota has seven, and they are losing all seven. So that's the trend. And what that will do is now that mail, instead of being canceled here in Buffalo, segregated to 140, 141, 142, 143, and 147, and then processed on other machines and staying right here in Buffalo and then going back out to those zip codes here in Buffalo that without the machine, it's going to, the machine, the, that mail will go to Rochester first for an advanced face or canceler system there. Yeah. Then back to Buffalo for final processing. That's where we believe the delay is. That's just one of the delays we believe. And so, Frank, you're encouraging people to come first to this informational picket on Friday again, um, starting at 11 o'clock in the morning. What's going to happen there? Well, you know, uh, most most Americans have never been in an informational picket. And uh, we have a long history here in Buffalo of having very professionally run informational pickets, very safe, very non-confrontational. It's a way for the public to assemble in front of the post office. We walk up and down. We have uh, signs. We have flags. It's family friendly. There'll be kids in the line. Kids are out of school. They're welcome to come down. Uh, I've always had my kids over the years in picket lines ever, ever since they were small, but it's a, it's a way for the, pro, uh, the public to say, hey, this service is important to us. We don't want it delayed. 
uh, and it's a springboard into the public meeting, which will be held four days later. So the public can experience the informational picket. Like I said, it's non-confrontational, family-friendly, where they can voice their concerns in number. And then four days later, they can go to the public meeting in at the uh, Creekside Banquet Center in Chictawaga and uh, express directly to postal officials their opinion. So we encourage people who have never experienced a public meeting, never experienced an informational picket to come down, experience it, and tell the Postal Service how important their service is and they do not want their mail delayed. We will be there to cover it for sure. Re Frank Resateritz is the president of the Lo Local American Postal Workers Union. Best of luck, Frank. We'll be talking to you again soon. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Michael.